Hello, on the coldest day of the year in New York City. Um, I left all of these layers on to just give you some idea. I initially had done this clip in the back of a taxi and on the way home from work because it's just too damn cold uh, to get home any other way. I certainly couldn't walk. <clears throat> and even waiting for the bus was um, was brutal. So uh, it looked really bad, though. It was really dark and very, very jerky. So I decided to just read, make it at home. Um, it's not going to be very long. We will be in Shreveport on Thursday. So the next time you see me, um, I'll be doing one of my Cafe Blab podcasts with my co-host Rick Rose live from Shreveport, from his apartment. Shreveport Bozier. We're going to hit the casino and the boardwalk. And I've never been there. I have a big family in Mississippi. Um, and I've been there many times, but I have never been to Shreveport, and I've been promising to go for all these years. And the reason it's happening in January is because I had bought tickets a year ago to go to Toronto in the spring, and then I had to cancel. We couldn't go. So the airline gives you a year from the date of purchase to apply that um, that money that you spent, the credit. So I had to fly by January 15th or lose $600. So that's why we're leaving in the middle of January to go anywhere. And I hate flying, by the way. The, the um, connecting flights are the worst. I, I would love to never fly, number one. It's just a bus in the air. That all, that's all flying is now. Um, and it's divided into like a dozen classes, you know, like little uh, um, levels of elite, you know, where you pay a little bit more and you get a couple more inches leg room and all this bullshit <clears throat> but the, most of us, for most of us, is you might. I'd rather just be on a greyhound on the ground because it's the same damn thing, and I'm not paying for a pillow, and I'm not. You know what I mean? It's horrible. Flying is a wretched experience. Uh, many years ago, it was an adventure. It's not anymore. Anyways, and then the taking, having to do a connection is terrible because the airline keeps changing um, the connection flight time. You know, the connecting flights time. So. Initially, we had an hour and a half in Dallas. Now we have like 35 minutes in Dallas to catch the flight to Shreveport. So I'm just venting. I'm complaining. Flying is horrible. I, I, the only reason I fly is to get somewhere um, that I couldn't get otherwise, unless I took a, you know, a, a four-day bus or something, and I'm not going to do that. So, But anyways, I will be doing a live podcast on uh, Friday morning, possibly Saturday, from uh, my co-host Rick's apartment. We will have coffee. We, the cafe will be open. We will be your servers. And we will be talking about different things. I'm not sure what. Um, the uh, New York City, by the way, the Metro card, the New York City subway Metro card turned 20. I don't know if it was today or this week or this month, but it just turned 20. It was on the news. And boy, did that make me feel old. I've been in, in New York City for about 21 years. I lived in L.A. for 12. But... Um, it was like, oh my God! I remember tokens, the little little round tokens that were like sort of like dimes, and you bought bags of ten of them. And I can't believe it's been twenty years. Twenty years. Time flies. I'll end with this: time is a non-renewable resource. I say this over and over, and I also say it to myself to remind myself that uh, every day that we spend not doing something that we want to do, and of course we can't do that all the time, but. Every day that I spend, uh, you know, rotting away in a cubicle I don't want to be in. Um, oh, my God, there I go again. i got to stop that. But anyways, t time is non-renewable. You can't get it back. It's the one thing you will never, ever get back. So spend it wisely. Spend it doing as much of it as you can, doing things that you want to do. And, um, you know, don't wake up when you're 70 or 80 saying, oh, I wish, I wish I'd done something else with my life, man. Coldest day in New York City. I'll be back from Shreveport, where it is at, at least a few degrees warmer. And I'll see you then.